In 1945, some workers in Egypt accidentally dug into an early Christian tomb. Inside, they found a large jar containing 13 leather-bound manuscripts, which were composed of 48 separate works. Practically all of these works are Gnostic, meaning they teach salvation through mystical knowledge. And one of these manuscripts contains the Gospel of Thomas. In Gnosticism, people are believed to be souls in material bodies. Only through true knowledge can they ascend. And according to this religion, Jesus is the Redeemer who came to communicate that knowledge and liberate man. He communicated this knowledge to selected disciples, one of them being Thomas. In almost all spiritual paths or traditions that are followed, eventually that which is discovered leads to this same ascension. And if these teachings had been placed in the modern Bible, the message may possibly have been clearer and more focused on the power that is held within each person. The Gospel according to Thomas doesn't tell a story. It's a compilation of approximately 114 sayings attributed to Jesus. The opening words of the document read, These are the secret words which Jesus, the Living One, spoke, and Didymus Judas Thomas wrote down. And he said, Whosoever finds the interpretation of these sayings shall never taste death. Let not him who seeks desist until he finds. When he finds, he will be troubled. When he is troubled, he will marvel, and he will reign over the universe. The sayings themselves are not the secret. The secret lies in their interpretation. When you find the true answers, it will trouble you because it goes against most of what you've been taught. And when the truth of it sets in, it will marvel you. And then you will know your power, that you have supreme reign over your life and everything in it, that you truly can experience heaven on earth. The Gospel of Thomas has been eliminated from the Bible, and there are many explanations as to the reason. Some religious leaders express that if you read it and compare it to what you see in the New Testament, it's a very different kind of book, presenting a quite different Jesus. They claim that these particular teachings about Jesus mesh with certain philosophical principles that only grew in popularity, but that they aren't necessary to the work of the Bible. How many have heard of the Lost Gospel of Thomas? The Lost Gospel of Thomas. Some of you have heard of that text. Very, very powerful text. The Lost Gospel of Thomas is powerful because it is believed to be the actual words of Jesus as he was teaching those around him how to use the power of human emotion in his life. And if the indigenous people know it, and if the ancient people know it, why don't we know it? What happened to our knowledge? This is a very good question. And the answer is this. In our Western tradition, and I'm, when I say Western, I'm assuming that we are of the Judeo-Christian tradition, is what I'm, I'm talking about here. There was a time when this field and the language of emotion was part of our tradition. It was in our texts. Until the 4th century, the year 325 A.D. In the year 325, something happened. Our texts were edited, and we lost tremendous amounts of information. The Emperor Constantine, in the early Christian church, with the early Christian Bible, had to make decisions. What information do we include? What information do we exclude? And what we know now is that at least, at least 45 books were either completely taken away or tremendously edited into what 
we call today our Western biblical tradition. And when those edits were made, we lost the information that tells us everything is connected. We lost the information that tells us the language that speaks to this field. We know the information was lost because we are now recovering the information in the Dead Sea Scrolls, in the Nag Hammadi Library, in the Coptic texts. This is how we know this information was lost. When we find writings belonging to Jesus that are not recorded in our primary sources, but are consistent with the ones that are, we are inclined to believe that they do indeed come from him. However, when the sayings seem to be a bit inconsistent with other teachings, we are told they have been edited out due to validity, rather than the fact that they are the sacred truth intended to be passed into the hands of all people, but that have only been reserved for a few. Any spotlight on the belief that each person is filled with the same higher power as Jesus, rather than it being an outside force to be feared, would have changed everything we know about life and our entire history. Because we are each different does not make us separate. We are all a part of the same one consciousness, simply taking different forms. Here are some of the sayings of Jesus from the Gospel according to Thomas and their possible interpretations. Verse number three. If those who lead you say to you, see, the kingdom is in the sky, then the birds of the sky will precede you. If they say to you, it is in the sea, then the fish will precede you. Rather, the kingdom is inside of you, and it is outside of you. When you come to know yourselves, then you will become known, and you will realize that it is you who are the sons of the living Father. But if you will not know yourselves, you dwell in poverty, and it is you who are that poverty. This teaching refers to the consequences of believing that power is outside of the individual. If you believe that this ruling power belongs to someone or something else, then that thing will hold dominion over your life. However, when the realization is made of who we each truly are, the one consciousness that moves through everything, and that all power comes from within, we can live in an ascended and rich way. The kingdom is inside of you, and it is outside of you. You literally manifest your outside circumstances from within. If you will not know yourselves, you dwell in poverty, and it is you who are that poverty. The belief that outside events and people have control over a person's life keeps them from living the richness that is rightfully theirs. They manifest as they believe. Verse 27. If you do not fast from the world, you will not find the Father's domain. If we do not turn away from the things that disturb us and believe in the power within to change all things, we will continue to experience that reality in our lives. Verse 50. If they say to you, where did you come from? Say to them, we came from the light, the place where the light came into being on its own accord and established itself and became manifest through their image. If they say to you, is it you? Say, we are its children. We are the elect of the living Father. If they ask you, what is the sign of your Father in you? Say to them, it is movement and repose. The word light is used to portray the origin of humans. The light is the consciousness of each person, manifested as a physical being. It is the all in all that exists as each individual. Consciousness lives through us as activity and awareness. My friends, Verse 70, <clears throat> Jesus said, I got something like this it is in I who am the light, which is above them all. Mexico over it there. It is I who am the all. From me did the all come forth. 
the Grand Telescopio Millimetrico last year in April as, April as well. I don't remember the date, but check on my channel and I said that it might be his disciples said to him, when will the kingdom come? Blue Kachina. Jesus said. No, Blue Kachina in Hopi prophecy. It will not be a matter of saying, here it is, or there it is. It Rather, is stated the of there the that spread out upon the earth, will be the ninth and, not see it. and final sign. We have always signs. had the power within ourselves, but we have lost sight of it. It is not something Before that we have to, the to experience. This consciousness is already a part of all things, including the end of times, yeah. According to Hopi prophecy, yeah. Now I don't know what to tell you here. To unleash it might be the force of the divine matrix in our lives first. Blue Kachina. We have to understand how it works. And the science tells us how I remember that I kept the we must speak the language. That the divine matrix recognizes, science cannot Let's tell see. us that. That comes from our past, from our culture, from our history. If not, it's on my channel language for, for sure. Years. So this is what we're doing right now. We're learning what did Jesus and what did the great masters say about this this language? Because it's the same whether you're talking Buddhist or Hindu or Christian. Pre-Christian traditions, they're all telling us I that told there you. is a field of energy all around we us. Have the language to use that field. This is it's a period of... Out of the Gospel of Thomas. So we know that this, this ancient Gospel actually... God's showing us... And you can, have, you can see some of the letters. These are Greek letters. Signs in the Greek. sky. So if you know Greek, As in the Bible is written, right there will be signs in, in the, the skies. Two very important keys. In heavens, in written, uh, right around three hundred the moon and in the, the sun. Jesus. In this gospel, okay, so here, here's what we're doing. We've been in the Buddhist monasteries in Let's Tibet, see. and they're telling us that we must that feeling is the prayer, one. Two, that we must feel as if our prayers have already been answered. Okay, and now we're in an Egyptian monastery with the text that used to be our tradition before they were edited. And we're going to look at the instructions that tell us how to do that. Okay, if we do that, is that good? Okay. Gospel of Thomas. If you have a copy of the Gospel of Thomas, this is verse 106. Yeah, there's nothing Bible. more here, but it's and on my channel, as I told you. Uh, and you can, you can go to any library and pick this up. Verse 106. Look at what the lost gospel of Thomas says. It says, so when we, you make the two we've seen the two sons of our motion one. Greece. Now here, I told you, I believe it's that one that passed, and it's on the time lapse. You will say to the mountain, mountain, move away, and the mountain will move away. Saying that when you can marry your thought this and your time emotion lapse of 21, one single potent force, 21st. that is when you have the power to speak it might be to the world blue Kachina. when you make the two one what are they talking about what like are nasa the two? says heal for the two three seven and emotion when the two become one in our hearts we create the feelings in our bodies try to find when that video clip become one i've told it's See over the Grand Telescopio Let's go back to Minimetrico in Mexico. Thomas, another verse. Now this and if I remember correctly, I put the title it says almost the Blue Kachina, the final sign. That it was recorded at least three 
different times in the same gospel. Look at what they're saying. No, of course. If the two make As peace Jesus said, with each other nobody in this knows. one house, when Jesus is talking about the, the house, day the and temple, the hour. what is he talking about? But about? precisely you, you are the house, you are the temple. If the two make peace with each he other, he told us in also that thought and emotion become one, if which will be the signs with yeah? each other in this house, so increasing what happens, they numbers will say to the of mountain, move increased away, number of move away. He's earthquakes again, worldwide. In a completely different verse, how powerful it is. To marry thought and emotion. Eruptions. But they still haven't told us how. How do you do this? prophets. Now That's you've seen Christian. what happened in Sri Lanka. He said Bible. also that. The Bible today. There is a passage. No servant is higher than form? the teacher. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Have you heard that? They persecuted me. They will persecute and you and as well. Happens. Yeah. In my name. Because the asking is so for not Christians, my friends, the asking my friends, is not done. Please, please bring this to my world. It That's will come. Asking. To ask, we very must speak to the field, to rough the divine times, yeah. in the language that the field recognizes. In a language that's meaningful, the field doesn't and recognize this, our voice, it recognizes the power happening of our heart. As we speak, Remember yeah. this morning, our heart, we have a feeling, I mean, creates electrical waves, magnetic waves. You just surf that's on the, the YouTube the and you're going to find a lot of so idiotic things that, that take place. As if your prayer is already Today, made. for example, in the United that States, the where a child was... Sent home because he was saying his prayer the that you have in today, the classroom, the King James Version, and so many things like this. What you but in the, the same time, version, we have, have the, the Satanists the looks like who this. put the Baphomet the statue Whatsoever you in the Father in my name. He will give it to you Hitherto, the middle of the street yeah and in my name. Uh, we have also okay. books Ask and ye shall given to young kids full. the satan's story okay, yeah this is the edited version stories this is so amazing to me because so i've told you <coughs> be very careful ask. my friends with your Kids. In the fourth because century, when the edits happened, they took those two sentences out. Would you like to see those two original sentences? They are after uh, not very much after your soul or my soul, editing. yeah, because we have and sins they already. Yeah. New translation. They are after the, Aramaic, the pure souls, begins, and the pure souls so this are the, the children. That's why they come up with this fucking idiotic things with the third gender, yeah? My name, you will be given. Because they are trying to says, so far you've not done this. play because with your kid mind, you yeah, voice, and ask him, oh, you're a boy, you believe you are a girl, oh, very good, 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 good. Look at these two you understand? They are after Ask your kids' souls because they are pure. And be surrounded by your answer. Be aware of this, my friends. By what you desire, that your gladness be full. Look and they will it's not try to, to watch, word, it's saying to, to be, be careful of what your kid if. If you are surrounded, is you are watching because... If. A lot of Your has already happened. this be enveloped if you want the perfect relationship in your life, if you want the healing in the body of your loved ones, devil's of what it is like agenda that has already happened. It's in the be games, my friends. Yeah. You the games that, that you buy you for your, your kid and he's playing one. on his computer. Of the healing a of lot the of these 
Idiotic things are there, yeah? Try to serve the YouTube and you're gonna find a very good intention people which are drawing attention about this kind of games and what they are doing to your kids, yeah? So be careful, my friends. And things like this will increase because, as I told you, Jesus Christ told us is no servant higher than the master, yeah? They persecuted me, they will persecute you as well. That means to feel as if. To feel so remember as if. this and be prepared for now, if this that because. Too religious, because it's from the Bible. We spoke, spoke is this, this uh, about Neville, uh, the, the philosopher what Neville will... in the 20th century. His book, The Power of Awareness. Look at what he says. It's the same thing. Says, happened to the Christians all over the world a present fact now by assuming in the last the feeling of your wish fulfilled to come from the seven place days that yeah already happened maybe and earlier what those who knows did God knows with that cancerous tumor I want to just elaborate on this a little bit but he warned us we know already that this will happen those yeah practitioners healed the woman with her tumor this morning. They did not judge the cancer as wrong or bad or right. So or that's good. why there was no judgment. They accept that tumor as a possibility. Be very careful. One of many possibilities because in the quantum world all things are possible. So they didn't say bad cancer, you must go away. Or we're going to operate on you or we're going to use radiation on you they didn't do that they accepted the cancer as it was without hidden motive without judgment and they said now we're going to choose a new reality by feeling assuming the feeling as if the woman is already healed so what they did was they felt the feeling as if the woman was fully healed, fully enabled, fully capacitated, already happened in the, the chant that they were using. Wassa, wassa, loosely now this is into the words already done, already as done. As you can see, it's another. And then when they got excited, they said, "May, may, may." Energetic. Now, now, now. Particles coming from the bureau system now, hitting the earth, world now. And, her body and we have this physical reality must respond. I've told to you, we see this is the the impression that you have so is like uh, traditions, they are telling us have the impression the that is knowing, the and then and in the Judeo Christian traditions. They are giving us the instructions. I don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna see a red sprite, but you can see this. Feeling. And when you put those all together, it's something that happens in our hearts, kind of in our minds. Feeling as if the prayer is already answered with no different and no ego, and feeling from I don't know how to call it. Feeling from the result, as if I mean the correct. Thing will be energy, yeah. I studied martial arts uh, when I was in my twenties and, and a little bit in my forties and fifties. You see, it's have you seen martial artists when they demonstrate their focus by breaking a concrete it's with wall? Draws and then is the you've all seen that before, right? It discharge into the okay, ground, the yeah. Secret. So here is the secret to breaking that block. When the martial artist is focused on that block. Yeah, and by the way, I've been thinking, you know. That they are thinking. Now, is about, their hands about the Trump. The block. Because if they think about that, they With know it will His hurt. obsession about the wall, I told you. So they focus 
on what happens after their hand is passed. Now there are so many informations and about which are saying the same thing, yeah, that place, the South America will be affected drastically, it yeah. The feeling as if their hand and is already in that place. I've told you that that is a metaphor, that is the equivalent for what we're doing with the power of emotion. I believe Trump feeling is building this that fence to try to stop people there when we, they will try to save their lives by going to into the United States, yeah? It is the this is my this is the, the way I'm seeing things there, yeah. But it now with those beams alone. that we have seen on different cameras to break free from any uh, reality that does not serve what a person desires. The descending the from the International Sun Simulator over uh, Mexico. And I told you what I believe they are trying to do to punch the atmosphere below the ionosphere in order to to release the higher pressure from the ionosphere, yeah, the higher energy, now it's another problem. If you know that you're gonna do this kind of interventions, yeah, over Mexico, from, I mean, for uh, different purposes, yeah, one, I believe it's uh, that one to create to try to trigger earthquakes in order to detention the the pressure between the tectonic plates and in order to protect your underground bases. Now the other thing is this is what you do, yeah. If you still manipulate the ionosphere, yeah. The other thing is, with these energetic particles, these energetic particles which are coming from Nibiru system, they are charging their themselves, yeah. They are charging the ionosphere, yeah. So. If you don't create this path, yeah, over another country, it will exist the possibility that the energy to discharge over your country, which will not be very good, yeah. So that's why I believe they are doing this over some other countries, yeah, in order to protect uh, their uh, soil, yeah, so in all this process, all the great powers I've told you, they will do the same thing, yeah, so the small nations, As I see it, they are in grave danger, my friends, because they will do this on the over the small countries, yeah. Now, here I don't know if the governments of the those countries where they are doing this intervention because Let's be serious, yeah? I mean, just imagine you will be in the, I don't know, in Mexican government, yeah? And you will, you're going to see all those beams all over your cameras, over the Mexico, yeah? You will start to wonder, yeah? You will go to the, some... Uh, I don't know, your scientists to ask them, guys, what this might be. 
And probably they will come with an explanation, yeah? Or they will start an investigation, whatever, yeah? But if you think that all these guys from the that they are in power, they are all in these games, yeah? In this game, and <coughs> all of them, in almost every country, they are part of these secret societies, then you have the answer. Nobody will care about the population, yeah? They will do exactly what that secret society leader they are telling them to do, yeah? So they will expose their population, I mean they are politicians, yeah? They've been elected and they are doing something against their people. Do you understand this? Because they are part of this secret societies which are their goal is to put the humanity under Satan control. Do you understand this? Now, if this is the case, we, as ordinary people, we are fucked. This you must understand, because these politicians, that they are in power, they're going to sell our safety, our lives, like they do with the vaccines, with all this crap. Yeah, because this, the guys that they are in power, the politicians, of course they have the promise from the devil and their secret societies. Oh, don't worry, my friend, for you and your family, we're going to put you underground and you're going to be safe, you understand? The other ones, okay, it doesn't matter, my friend, you understand. We are running the show here, yeah? Don't worry about the other ones. The other ones, they can die, go, I don't know. Why do you care about them? Care about you and your family. You understand what I'm trying to say? So, if these politicians from all the countries, they are in this. This is what they are doing to their population in just, I mean, for their personal interest, yeah? To have a place underground when Nibiru will pass, yeah? So they will accept this game knowing that he's going to be safe, he and his family, yeah? So be aware of this, my friends. I mean, the ordinary people will be fucked by these motherfuckers. The Illuminati, Freemasons, that they are everywhere in all the, all the countries, in places of power and decision, yeah? This you must understand. And, as I told you, it's going to be rough for everybody, for Christians, Jesus Christ told us why. And this is the shit that is happening, my friends. So, I don't know what to tell you more. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. God bless you.